Show and show. First of all, most money you go preaches on the good yow, but she may have shot, but she might have cockled Double honest to the elders and apostles who do rule and teach well. As uh, most honest you brothers out there on the highways and byways. And doing your sit downs, your lessons, so on and so forth. Camping, of course, right? All towards you know, the calling of the whole full elect as you're you know, commanded to do. Go out there and teach and call out to the full elect. Uh, young brother here, Shamash Wan. And um, I want to, you know, touch on, you know, this whole incest thing that, um, you know, El Apostle, I talked about it, you know, a, a while ago, um, explaining it. And, and I believe some other brothers uh, went into certain things as well. Um, but, you know, I just want to touch on it myself. Um, I think the question El Apostle, and he pretty much answered it, right, was that, you know, certain forms of so-called incest are, are, are allowed and are okay, like uh, uncle and niece and all that, which it is according to the scriptures. Uh, but I just want to, you know, mainly talk about it and bring out some uh, various things. Um, of course, going to Leviticus, the 18th chapter, get into the law. And uh, mainly what I want to talk about is like the, the, uh, the death penalties. And certain penalties for certain forms of uh, incest, but uh, I'm just gonna go in a spirit instead of getting this first. I'm gonna get the definition of incest first. Okay, so uh, incest is sexual relations between people, classes being too closely related to marry each other, right? What is marriage? Uh, sex, right? Uh, incest is human sexual activity between family members or close relatives. This includes. Um, you know, so on and so forth, right? But we want to, um, how do we know this, right? We know what it is. We want to see what what is classed according to the scriptures as being too closely related to each other because, you know, Esau, he has his form of classifications, which isn't according to the Bible, but we want to see what the Bible says, right? What the Lord had set up. Actually, uh, never mind that. We're going to get that after we get this one, right? Acts 20 and 27. Five not shunt. Uh, Acts 20, 27, if I have not shunned to declare unto you all the gospel, um, all the counsel of the Most High, all right? So you got to speak this truth, all of it, and you can't shun to speak on something because, you know, people don't don't want to hear it, man. Right? Or they, or, or they, yeah, their minds are in, in the world, you know, and they, they, they get emotional, they have this Western mind state, you know, they don't understand that. You know, we come from a people from the east, which really everyone comes from the east, really. You know, they're disconnected from that eastern mindset. They're all emotional, feminine, right? You got to defend the gospel, man. You know, you got to, it just says you have an unction uh, and you know all things. You know, we have, uh, we have to study the show, self approve. That's another one, you know. Um, so, yeah, we got to, we got to sometimes get into these sort of things, man, you know. And, uh, yeah, you know what I mean, you know. Just because something makes someone uncomfortable doesn't mean we're not going to speak on it, right? And, of course, we know, which we're bringing out over and over and over again, right? Uh, uh, what, how does the scripture go again? Um, all things are lawful, but all things aren't expedient. Roughly paraphrasing, you can look that up, right? All things are lawful, but not all things are expedient. Right? So don't be running around you know, trying to deal with your niece, right? Like don't you know and then you know because you get you get jammed up man it's on you bro <laughs> yeah you know, like an apostle Taurus said i remember watching that you know part of, the, of that video he said uh, i'm just gonna turn my back on you brother <laughs> you know but we we're gonna get to some scripture all right so we're gonna touch on certain things here right uh Yeah, Leviticus 18 and 6, right? None of you shall post to any that is near akin to him to uncover their nakedness on the Lord, right? And this can explain to you what is near of kin, right? Now, incest is people um, having sex with others that are classed too close to each other. Now, the scripture is going to tell you what is being classed as too close to each other. Nakedness of thy father, nakedness of the mother shall 
thou shalt thou not uncover she is thy mother thou shalt not uncover her nakedness right and that goes on in the society, right? And I'm not going to get into it, but you read down in Leviticus, the 18th chapter. Um, it'll tell you that um, defile not ye yourselves in any of these things for the nations that were here before you did. And this this was done by the Canaanites. These Hamites were really getting down like that. And these people out here today, you know, same shit goes on, man. You know, a fucking uh, stepmother, you know, sleep, sleep with the son or... You know, a little boy start doing it with his mom while their father's away. You know, that, that shit goes down, man. All right? Or the mother entices the, the, the her own son. All right? That Semiramis Tamush bullshit, man. All that fucking nonsense, bro. Um, at least I'm pretty sure that's what goes on with Semiramis and Tamush. I might, I might look it up. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's how that all that nonsense went in, right? What was I? Verse seven: the nakedness of thy father, nakedness of thy mother. Right? Verse eight: the nakedness of thy father's wife shall thou not uncover. It is thy father's nakedness, as I said before, a so-called stepmother. Right? That goes on, man. The nakedness of thy sister, the daughter of thy father, or the daughter of thy mother, whether she born at home or born abroad, even that nakedness shall thou not uncover. All right. So that's obvious, your so-called, you know, your half-sister. Really, it's just your half-sister, man. Um, they can say son's daughter or their daughter's daughter, right? Your granddaughter, even a nakedness, thou shalt not uncover for theirs. Is that no nakedness, right? Because that goes back to your, you know, your genetic stock, your DNA passed on over and over and over again. And that's like you're looking upon your own nakedness, right? The nakedness of their father's wife's daughter began with their father. She is thy sister, thou shalt not cover her nakedness, right? Of thy father's wife's daughter, begotten of thy father. Okay, so from your dad, right, is your sister, because you both have the same daddy. Once again, the seed line is through the father, right? Thou shalt not cover the nakedness of thy father's sister. She is thy father's near kin, uh, kins, kinswoman, right? Thou shalt not cover the nakedness of thy mother's sister. She is thy mother's near kinswoman. Thou shalt not cover the nakedness of thy father's brother. Thou shalt not approach to his wife. She is thine aunt. And that's also adultery. Thou shalt not cover the nakedness of thy daughter-in-law. She is thy son's wife. Thou shalt not cover nakedness. Adultery. Thou shalt not cover the nakedness of thy brother's wife. It is thy brother's nakedness. Adultery. Right? <laughs> I mean, right? This is what you're not supposed to do. But you don't see in here as um, uh, cousins. And you don't see any regulations for uncle and niece. Which was going on when you um, read uh, like Genesis 11 chapter of Abraham. Um, well, we, what we do know for sure it was um, oh, what was his, what was his brother's name? Um, Abraham, I think it was Nahor. Oh man, I might have to go back into it, but it, it, it was his brother that did it, and he took Haran's daughter, Abraham's brother, took. Well, he's Abram back then to Quran's uh, daughter. It doesn't exactly say where Sarai, if Sarai was a daughter of um, Terah or if she was a daughter of, uh, I think Nahor came before Terah, you know. But it doesn't exactly say if, if Sarai was uh, Terah's daughter. So more than likely, she was uh, Nahor's daughter, the father of Terah, you know. But well, and I'm saying that one right. Um, but... So I say they were closely related, and I believe all the pastor I mentioned too. That was a uncle niece type of deal, all right? Once again, you know you don't do that now. Uh, I should not cover the naked of a woman and her daughter. I should not take her son's daughter or her daughter's daughter, right? To cover her nakedness, for they are her near kinswoman. His wickedness, right? Okay, there you go. Take her son's daughter. So you should not cover, so yeah, if you're doing it with a woman and then she have a daughter, right? Which that goes on today, right? The, the so-called stepdad, he deal with the woman, then he deal with the daughter. Um, now you should not take thy, her son's daughter. So if this woman you're dealing with and she has a son by previous marriage, you're not supposed to take her son's daughter or her daughter's daughter to cover Nikis for their near kinswoman is wickedness. So you're not supposed to engage in that behavior, right? Um, 
Yeah, this would be the last one. Verse 18. Now that shall thou uh, take a wife to her sister to vex her to cover her naked besides the other in her lifetime. Right? So you can't take a wife to sister to vex her. So you can't have a sister, like take a wife and then take your sister, right? To vex her to cover her naked besides the other in her lifetime, right? And then that goes back to, you know, Jacob, Rachel, and Leah. You know, you're not, you're not supposed to do that. You know, that was, uh, that's pretty much the end of that, you know? All right, so now I just want to talk about um, this one account in the scriptures, right? Uh, 2 Samuel 13. Oh, man, I, I mean, really should read everything here. But Amnon is uh, one of the sons of uh, King David. Absalom, yep. Yeah, so I'll read this. I'll start from the top and I'll skip down. I'm not going to read all this because, you know, it'll take too long. It's like 13 verses before I get to the point. So, I mean, uh, brothers already already know about, you know, for instance, Second Samuel. It's like one of the first things on GMS homework. Uh, Second Samuel 13 and 1. It came to pass of the this that Absalom, the son of David, had a fierce sister. His name was Tamar. And Ammon, the son of David, loved her. And I'm going to skip down. And you brothers can you know, read it for yourself. Um, he basically act like he was sick. Verse 10, right? And Emma said, Tamar, bring the meat into the chamber that I may eat of thy hand. And Tamar took the cakes which she had made and brought them to, into the chamber to Amr, Amnon, her brother. And when she had brought them unto him to eat, he took hold of her and come unto her. Uh, I said, unto her, come lie with me, my sister. Okay, and this is a violation of what we're just reading, um, you know, to, to, you know, that's basically his, that's, that's just a sister of, of a different mother. I'm not sure if that's still a half-sister, but it's just a sister. It's literally just a sister, because his father, same, same dad, all right, King David, um, verse 12. And she answered him, Nay, my brother, do not force me. For no such thing ought to be done, Israel. Do not doubt this folly. Why? Because this wasn't our customs. And when, as I said before, I mentioned in Leviticus, the 18th chapter, um, but it says at the end, roundabout, it says, um, Defile not ye yourselves in any of these things, for the nations which they cast out before you uh, were defiled in all these things, right? And the land spewed it out, right? The Lord, you know, brought, uh, I think it was uh, wasp, wasp, or I can't remember which one. But um, he he bought he bought them on them as well, like different bugs and calamities on them. You know, of course, the Lord gave us that power to take him down because he was dealing with us, right? But once again, dealing with your sister is not a part of our customs. And it's fucking sick. I mean, what what could what could? It's really a, a demon, man. It's really a, a, a incest demon on you, man. I mean, what could make you want to sleep with your with your sister, man? It's like what the fuck. <laughs> All right, verse thirteen. And I, whither shall I cause my shame to go? And as for thee, thou shalt be as one of the fools in Israel. <laughs> now, therefore, I speak to thee, speak unto the king, for he will not withhold me from thee. All right, because I'm gonna speak on that. Basically, people that, that did this, they will be ashamed. They will cast him out of the city. Right? This isn't a sin unto death. Right? She wasn't, some commentary said she was lying. You know, she wasn't lying. This just, just isn't a sin unto death. It's shameful, though. You know, so, obviously, like, don't, don't, you know, go around fucking doing that. You know, that's, that's shameful, right? Verse 14, I'll be, he would not hearken unto her voice, but being stronger than she forced her and lay with her, right? Men are stronger than women, right? And he got his judgment later on, right? Uh, verse 15, right there, I hated her exceedingly so that the hatred he hated was greater. He hated her, was greater than the love with her. He had loved her and Emma said unto her, rise, be gone, right? And that's you know, typical Jake behavior to, to do wicked shit like that, man. You know, I mean, even even though they now maybe not doing it with her sister, I mean, that's a little extreme nowadays, right? But Jake, um, they'll deal with a woman, certain certain men, and you can read about it, and I'm mainly thinking about, you know, stuff in, like, uh, the 50s, 60s, right? Jake was, you know, pretty, pretty fucked, but, you know, not, not to the same level fucked as you are now, right? Jake has, uh, 
the scripture goes that uh, they have surpassed the, the wicked, the deeds of the wicked. You know, it's, Jake, Jake is actually worse than a lot of these Edomites out here, man. You know, but um, back then, right, you would hear different accounts about Jake. They would get with these virgins, you know, so-called black men getting with so-called black women, you know, pop them and then dip out, you know, and then, um, you know, basically go fuck off. You know, and that was, that was extremely wicked. And you have that documentary, um, The Vanishing Black Family. You know, and it was just knuckleheaded ass. You know, Jake, Jake's just, you know, popping women and going the fuck off and join gangs and do crime. You know, and then, of course, yeah, that's, that's just the generational bullshit. And then, you know, these nigga women become single parents, you know, because of Esau's welfare systems and those handouts, and then they pass on that bullshit, and so-called say, like in a document, they said, oh, I'm not going to have my daughter become like me, and then her daughters become like them anyway, you know, and end up with a Pookie and a Ray Ray, and then that shit passes on to this day, but they just constantly get with Pookies and Ray Rays, and then um, the so-called black men who have some former status, or black men who, so-called black men who, who are, you know, they may have a degree here and there, they may uh, be a professor, or they may be in business, you know, or so on and so forth, anything like that. They may do stock, they may be investment, who knows. Um, they, they're dipping, man. They, they, they ain't dealing with a with so-called black woman, man. Because all, all the black women want is Pookie and Ray Ray's, man. Right, and that's a fact, all right? Uh, and of course we know they're wicked and they also look like gorillas with hair so that's another reason you know a bunch of funky monkeys but but let's get back to his lesson right let's get back to his, this is back to the lesson man let's go to Leviticus uh, 20 alright so this is uh, the book of Leviticus the 20th chapter a lot of this is uh, a lot of the you know similar stuff the commandments you know repeated over again Oh, what was it? Leviticus twenty and eleven. The man that lieth with his father's wife hath and covered his father's nakedness. Both of them shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. You see? All right, so you're not supposed to see what your father's wife, man. And right, both of them shall be put to death. If a man lie with his daughter-in-law. Both of them shall surely be put to death. They have wrought confusion. Their blood shall be upon them. All right? You're not supposed to do that. It's a sin unto death. Both of them have to be put to death. All right. I wonder what is a daughter-in-law. I think that's your son. Yeah, your son's wife. So that's also adultery. So yeah, you both you both getting put to death, man. Um, I'm gonna take a wife. In verse fourteen, if a man take a a wife in her mother is wickedness, they shall be burnt with fire, both he and they. That there be no wickedness among you. Yo, God, God. That's right. You know, there's not supposed to be wickedness among us. You really think about that, right? Nowadays, with you fucking people out here, right? You're that wickedness that's among us. So when that, when them chariots come and the missiles come down, that's when there's going to be no wickedness among us. I don't want to have to fucking sit here and be around people that engage in such filth. Fucking heretics. Um... Excuse talk about the two put up putting away evil away from among you. Alright. It's not I don't wanna fucking be around these fucking people, man. You can't you can't fucking dodge them, man. No matter where you fucking go. You can go into the fucking man, it's even in Ithaca, man. Ithaca is fucked. Alright, so no brothers don't think that oh, oh man, the city is fucked. Uh, maybe I could go to upstate. Hey man, upstate is fucked too, man. You know, these assholes that fucking spread like a plague and they, they, they fucked up upstate too, man. It's all fucked up, man. You know, I guess like the only place maybe you may be straight is you go into like the fucking mountains. And even if you go to some mountain fucking city somewhere, <laughs> some way, somehow, I bet it's the same bullshit. Adultery, heresies, you know, wicked ass niggas, you know, all over the fucking place, man. But let, let, let's uh, let's let's continue on, right? Because I want to talk about this one, right? Verse nineteen, right? Um, and that should not cover uh, the 
nakedness of thy mother's sister, nor of thy father's sister, for he, he uncovereth his near kin, they shall bear his iniquity, right? It doesn't exactly say whether they shall, uh, you should be put to death, right? If a man lie with his uncle's wife, he have uncovered his uncle's nakedness, they shall bear this and they shall die childless when they get put to death. That one's put to death. I'm not, I'm not going to really look into the 19th one, right? Um, what was I looking at? I had something here. Um, oh, it's the 19th verse. Was it this? Cut off from among his people. What did I, what did I read? What did I read? Give me a second. Oh, okay. Um, I, I might have. Did, did I read this already? I don't know. Uh, I'll just read it again and break it down. Uh, Leviticus 20 and 17. If a man take his sister, his father's daughter, or his mother's daughter, and see her nakedness, like we just read in Second Samuel, right? If a man take his sister, sister, his father's daughter, or his mother's daughter, and see her nakedness, and she see his nakedness, it is a wicked thing. They shall be cut off in the sight of their people. We have uncovered his sick and nakedness. He shall bear his iniquity. Now, that doesn't exactly mean... You know, killing, right? Because they should be cut off in the sight of the people. Right? Now, certain times you see the word cut off. Like I was reading the commentary, certain times you read that word cut off, and it will mean execution. But in other times, cut off could mean separation, right? Like in the in the here in the thing here. Um, uh, what was it? What was it? Um, here you go, verse eighteen, right? So, a woman having her sickness. You know, in a fountain of blood, uh, meaning having sex with a woman during their period, which you're not supposed to do that. I mean, if you do so, you're unclean, but it's not a sin unto death. You're not supposed to do it. It's not It's not what you're supposed to be doing. You know, right? Like, sin is a transgression of the law. According to the law, you're not supposed to have sex with a woman during her period. Just put her away. And everything she touches is, you know, unclean. Of course, you can't follow that. Nowadays, it's not saying that you should, you know, will have sex with your woman during a period. I mean, obviously not. You should, you know, if you have a side chick, if you do, if you are dealing with a woman and, you know, you got the game, <laughs> game, <laughs> you got the game to get um, uh, your shit unpaid, um, you know, you, you, you should have, you should probably have the game to, to get a side chick too. So, I mean, you can always get a side chick or you can, uh, uh, you know, pay for it or, um, What's the other option? The other option is you just you just deal with it. You know, you just you just take it off. You just take off. You know, you just you know don't don't uh, even bother with that. You know, until that uh, fountain of blood is is gone. You know, that's pretty much your options with that. You know, I'm just speaking on it with limited experience because you know obviously I nah, I'm fucking I don't fucking have that kind of issues, bro. Um, But the, the the point is right. Um, this one is shame, all right? And that and this one is shame, and that means you get you get put off, all right? Like uh, what um T Tamar said. She said, uh, you know, you, thou shalt be one of the fools in Israel. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's, it's not laughing, man. It's deadly serious. But I mean, it's just like man, you you couldn't control yourself, man. You had to do it with your sister. Had all the women, all these beautiful women, right? And the women were different back then, man. This is before, you know, the the curses were in full swing, man. And you know, the way we got it nowadays, man. These women, the beauty women being changed. Hey, man, back then the the Israelite women were, were were bad, man. They were good, you know. Being respectful, of course, you know, when that woman were in there, right? You know, in the right minds, they had uh, integrity. You know, obviously, nowadays, it's not the case. But, um, you know, that's pretty much it. You know, so uh, this this form of uh, incest right here is uh, not grounds to be put to death. Right? But it's still incest. Okay. And I think there was another one. If a man take a wife and her mother... Yeah, they should be burnt with fire, both he and they, they, they will be, that there be no wickedness among you, right? So, you know, if if this happens, this one is uh, grounds for uh, capital punishment. But if you do this one, uh, you won't be killed. Uh, you'll, you'll have to bear that iniquity and <laughs> ain't nobody going to deal with you because, 
you know, they have a child, you know, remember that and they say, hey, man, weren't you that dude who slept with his fucking sister? Or, you know, you know, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Look, it's set up for, for both of them to just die, man. They both get diseases or whatever, something happened to them, you know. So, um, the last thing I want to talk about is that um, this thing, um, you know, just because it's not a sin unto death, right? Don't, don't, you know, like, obviously don't fucking do that shit. I mean, don't, don't fucking think about doing dumb shit like that. And you know, trying trying to try the Lord, I said, "Oh well, it's not a sin to death. I mean, the worst they could do is gonna kick me out the camp." It's, a, it's like, man, and come on, bro, <laughs> don't 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 think like that, man. You know, little one, yeah, the fuck, so um.